And that's what you have to do. You've got something in mind. The people here wants a church. Build it. As quick as you can. Get it up. Get your teachers and things. You brother out there at your little churches. And uh, you want to, you're doing a work. God will reward you for that. Go out there. Preach. Do everything you can. Then all of you get together. You bunch of men and have meetings and talk on deep things of the scripture. And pray. Don't, don't just come here together unless you come for prayer meeting along. Do your praying in secret. Stay out in a place and go into your rooms. Hide out somewhere. And just kneel down and just stay before God and stay there. Then if you find out look like something's moving up or you're just going and you find out it gets a little bit off the word, then be careful. No matter how good it looks, stop right there. A wrong spirit struck you because the message of this day is to the word. Okay? Don't see if you say, oh, my brother ran my case, so and so, while so and so stood the other night, this is that thing, thing, place like this. Watch it. Watch it close. Don't renounce nothing. Just wait and see how it acts and then bring it up to the word and see how it compares with the word. And if it compares with the word and everything's fine, thank God and just keep moving on. And see, this long just stays in the word. That's my opinion, what I think you should do. Brother Neville, Brother Ruddle. Brother Crease, Brother Beeler, and all you brethren here, Junie, wherever you are, the rest of you, brethren, God richly bless you. I see Terry, Lynn, Charlie Cox, David, a lot of you young men here. God anoint you. Amen. My, how I would like to pick up a handful of you via evangelists and set you somewhere. See, yeah. knowing that you come up, you can stand and know the message and study to prove yourself. You feel a call in your life. I see two or three young men, four or five, sitting on a row back here. And, and like that, you're a young man. I'm getting old. Brother Neville's getting old. We're a middle-aged man. If time rolls on, we're going to walk off the scene next while. You've got to fill our shoes. And so, and seeing that maybe in that day, even it'll be growing greater if there is a tomorrow. But while there is a today, let's work while it's day. Tomorrow may never come. If it does, let's be ready for it. See what I mean? Now, that's what I would think to you. Would it be wonderful to see a brother up there from Utica, Brother Crace, all you other brethren here, come together, meet, come into a place... You ministers set together and discuss things. You've got to have fellowship somewhere. You've got to have something to come together to kind of get together about. You all come together as a group of men and believe one with the other like that and discuss these problems and set out maybe once a month just ministers alone. Let you meet somewhere in one of your churches. Sit there and discuss it, talk it. Each one of you pastors and evangelists, whatever you are. And then if some great problem comes up you can't settle, then... If I'm called on the field of evangelism, I don't know that I will be. If I will be, you know I'll be coming back constantly all the time. And then if you get those things that when I come back here, well, we'll meet together. And just sit down there. One of you has a calling in your life. We won't have like private interviews and things we've been having. We'll just come right together and stay there until we have thus saith the Lord. Yeah. And if you can get the preacher straight and him going right, look what he's going to do. He's going to influence us. It would take care of the hundreds of these things. That's it. We're just beating at you, see? You've got to get it a system. God's system. Like uh, Jethro said to Moses, Why, you can't beat out all of them. Or, and God put elders out there. Seventy of them and took the spirit that was on Moses and put them up on those seventy elders and they prophesied. And it didn't weaken Moses a bit. And strengthened him. Yeah. He had just as much prophecy in him as he did before they took the spirit off of the prophesy. See? Yeah. He just separated the son of Moses. Let them judge the smaller things. And, uh, but when it comes to the major things, you come in with them and help them like that. That's the way. That was God's way back there. That was God's way in the, in the early church age. And I believe it's God's way now. Yeah. That's right. For us to do it. So, yeah. let's do it. Just quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. That's all. We can do it by the grace of God. Don't you believe it? Yeah. I'll, I'll, let's see. Oh, I've done tuck my time up. But uh, Billy wrote a note here just so I'll see what it is. 
come from New Albany, daughter of Grace Moore Hospital, broke her arm. Uh, uh, most prayer for her. T R O U B W C trope, trope, something like that. Let's have prayer for this young lady. Our Heavenly Father, as we're speaking now, and I'm thinking that maybe when Irenaeus looked out upon his little group of men, it perhaps is a lot smaller group than here tonight, and they didn't have a seat to sit in. They sat on old cold slabs of rock, and they sat there, and he talked to them. Those men went out, even when they go, they didn't know if they could be fed to lions, their heads chopped off. But the faith of our fathers are living still, and stifying of dungeon flame and sword. I thank you for these men, Lord. I pray that you'll bless them. God bless each of them in thy name. 